What is up guys? This is the Shed Ship update number two. And if you are curious as to why I keep calling it the Shed Ship, the reason is because I am doing this entire project out of this hardware store purchase garden shed. And recently it's begun to get a little disorganized and a little hectic inside there to say the least. So I needed to clean that out. So I got the shed cleaned up and organized so that I can get my head in the right frame of mind to move forward on the project. And now I have started to work on the back of the boat and get that giant hole in the transom that I cut out way too early, filled back in, and everything bonded again. I took some footage and narration outside, so let's cut to that. All right guys, we have made some progress on the shed ship. As you can see, I've got the engine sitting in there for mock-up purposes right now. Obviously it's filthy and we need to take it out and rebuild it. But I wanted to check the fitment of everything now that I have the ski hole bonded to the boat. Um, everything is looking pretty good. It looks like I may end up having to shave a little bit of the frame rail through here where the expansion chamber comes out. Um, I'm gonna have to do some final mounting and really see what kind of clearance I'm looking like. Even if it does fit, I want to make sure I have enough clearance to keep the heat off of that frame rail and melting the resin and everything. But looking pretty cool seeing the engine inside of it. And then around back, I took an original piece of the transom that I had cut out earlier and cut that back in to fit the void here above the jet ski portion back at the back of the boat. I've ground it down, getting ready to bond it with fiberglass. You can see I notched out a little center portion right here over that jet ski jet tunnel. So we'll bond that. And then the only thing after that is I have to fix these little holes down here on either side where I cut the original hole too big. And then once that's done, we should be good with fiberglass and ready to move on to reconstruction. I am also trying to repurpose this seat base from the XP to try and use as kind of a engine shroud slash maybe a seat uh, here in the back. Um, obviously it's backwards, that's the grab bar at the back of the jet ski facing to the front of the boat. But that was the best way I figured I could encapsulate this engine. As you can see it sits a little high for making the shroud work perfectly. Ideally I'd like to get the original seat, I might have to cut it, back on top of this so that I can have some sort of seat here right in the middle of the back of the boat here. Another thing I was experimenting with a little bit was uh, grinding down and form fitting the hood and gauge cluster from the jet ski onto the dash of the boat. I've seen some of the new modern jet boats do this. They have the jet ski portion there right in front of the driver. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do on mine. I'm a little undecided because I do feel it takes away from some of the vintage look. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should finish molding this hood piece uh, onto the dash area or I should leave it clean and smooth like it was from the factory.